In this lecture, you're going to learn that how you can create a sheet in your SIF UI application, which can show quarter of the screen, half screen, and as well as full screen. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we implement our own sheet, let's go ahead and take a look at the sheet that is already available to you. One of the things that you will realize when you're using the sheet modifier is that you can pass in is presented, which is going to control that whether this is going to get displayed or not. But the main thing is that you can also pass in the content that you want to display in the sheet. This means the caller of this particular modifier, the person who's calling this, decides what goes in the sheet. So we have to use the same exact approach when we are creating our own custom sheet. I've already created something called flexible sheet, and this will be our application or our custom view. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define different kind of modes. So I'm going to call it sheet mode, case none, which means that the sheet is not being displayed, case quarter, which means the sheet is only displayed quarter of the screen, half, which means half of the screen, and then obviously full, which means it's displayed on the complete screen. We're also going to allow the user to pass in their custom views to the flexible sheet. And the easiest way that you can do that is to make sure that all the views that you're going to be passing in will be conforming to the view protocol. This means that a user or call caller will be able to pass in any kind of a content that conforms to the view. We will also make sure that they can pass in a sheet mode, which is of type bindable expression. So that will be a bindable sheet. Now, the reason that we're using binding over here is to illustrate that this particular property called sheet mode can be changed from the calling side uh, or the calling side is going to be passing in the sheet mode and it can be changed from inside the flexible sheet and it will be reflected on the calling side also. We still need to create our initializer. So let's go ahead and create initializer. The first one will be sheet mode and we will call it, it will be binding for sheet mode. A second argument is going to be a little bit more interesting because this is going to be a view builder. A view builder is simply going to be a closure that is going to allow us to return views. So this is going to be escaping and it is going to return a content which is of type view. Next we can simply go ahead and set all of these different things up. So sheet mode and the content itself. Keeping in mind that the content that we're passing in is simply a closure that when called is going to return content which is of type view. Okay, great. You can see that at the bottom, our flexible sheet is now complaining. And the reason it is complaining is that we haven't really passed in anything over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the initializer. And you can see that we can pass in different things. Uh, we can pass in the sheet mode. Since it's a bindable expression, I can pass in a constant value. And for the content, I can pass in anything I want. So, for this sheet, I can simply pass in a V stack that can contain a hello world scenario. Let's go ahead and build this application. Great. Now, if I go ahead and call this particular flexible sheet, it's going to be passing in this preview, which means that the child item or the item that we are passing to be displayed or we want to display in a flexible sheet is a V stack. This is completely up to you. You can pass in anything you want, but let me go ahead and add a little bit more properties to this so that it looks a little bit nicer. Let's also go ahead and make sure that it is clip shape and we are using rounded rectangles, but this is completely up to you, whatever you want to pass in. Okay, great. The reason that our V stack is currently not displayed anywhere is because inside the body, we are simply displaying the text hello world. 
we need to make sure that we are displaying or calling the content, which is going to return you the view. And now you can see that it displays everything. You can also use edges ignore and ignore all the edges so that it displays on the complete screen. But one of the main things that we need to implement is that the view or the content is going to be displaying only portion of the actual view based on the sheet mode that we have. So if the sheet mode actually changes, it should display quarter, half, or full screen. So where should we do all of those calculations? So I'm going to go ahead and create a private function right inside our flexible sheet, and I will call it calculate offset. This is going to return you a CG float. Now, based on the sheet mode, I can return different things. So I can perform a switch on the sheet mode. So let's go ahead and do that. Sheet mode dot wrap value. And now we can go ahead and check if the wrap value is actually none. Then we will simply go ahead and return the total height of the bounds or the actual UI screen bounds, which means that our view is when we display, it's not even going to get displayed because it will be off the screen. And using the same exact approach, we can calculate different things like quarter, half, and full. And you are more than welcome to adjust these values if you want to. Now we can go ahead and change the offset of the content. So I'm just going to go ahead and say offset. And the offset of y, we will simply change it to calculate offset. And we do want it to be animation or animated. So we're just going to call the spring function so that it does look like it's animating. Great. The other thing we need to do is to we need to check it out now. So let's go ahead into our content view and start using this. First of all, I'm going to create a property called sheet mode. Next, I can go ahead and use a Z stack or a V stack. That's completely up to you. But I'm just going to use a Z stack and just going to create my flexible sheet. In the flexible sheet, I can go ahead and pass in the sheet mode, which means that any time the sheet mode is changed from inside the flexible sheet, it is also going to change the state property. In the content, this is completely up to me, whatever the content I want to pass in. So let me go ahead and try to pass in some content that we can use. So let's start with the frame over here, the V stack. Okay, let me go ahead and arrange it. We'll select it and control I so that it's arranged a little bit. You can also do a clip shape, meaning some sort of a rounded rectangle or something if you want. Okay, let's go ahead and see if it uh, works or maybe I messed up something. Okay, looks like it's fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if it uh, previews or something. Okay, it's not allowing us to. Here we go. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a button just for our demo purposes so that we can show and hide or control different kind of modes. So I'm going to go ahead and add our button. And you can see the button is not really doing much. You can see that it's simply saying that if the sheet mode is none, then change it to quarter. If it's quarter, change it to half. If it's half, change it to full. And then if it's full, change it to none. So this is just for our testing purposes. Let's go ahead and run this. So I'm going to click it. Right now it's none. So now it's quarter. It's half. It's full. And now it's none again. So with this approach, we were able to create a custom sheet called Flexible Sheet. And that can showcase us, that can display us in a quarter mode, in a half screen, and also full screen, and as well as going away with all the animation and everything. And keep in mind that the good thing about this kind of a flexible sheet is that you can simply pass in the view that you want to display. So you are in control of what gets displayed in that particular sheet. So that's it. That's how you create a custom sheet which is capable of displaying quarter, half screen, and full screen.